In today's video, I will talk about a lesion of the perineal tendons on CT. Wait, CT? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fantastic world of CT. I didn't do many videos about CT, I actually don't really remember one, but it's about time that I also talk about CT. So the reason why I talk about this is because on ankle MRI you frequently see lesions of the perineal tendons, sometimes you have prior exams such as a CT of the ankle joint, and it's just good exercise to go back and see what actually was present or what was visible on a CT. And every now and then, uh, so it's certainly several times a year, I see that perineal tendon lesions are actually also visible on CT and I still have to encounter a uh, report where they are actually mentioned. So that's why I'm showing you this here. So um, quickly uh, through the main pathology, some kind of ankle trauma, we can obviously see there is a fracture with a displaced fragment here of the posterior aspect of the talus. We also have a fracture of the lateral process of the talus and then some subtle impaction here on the plantar aspect of the tailor head, etc. But that's not what I want to talk about. So this was already seen on the radiograph and obviously we have a lot of soft tissue swelling as you can imagine here, here. So perineal tendons. Now we all know where they go, right? So uh, I, I don't have to show you this, but if we start proximally, so we can see here at the level of the perineal tendons, there is a subtle calcification and a cortical fragment which would belong down here. So this is already an indication that there is something going on in this region and this is a cortical avulsion of the superior peroneal retinaculum which on radiographs is also sometimes visible and called the flex sign and we actually have a prior radiograph in this case. Let me just quickly show you this here. So first of all, you can see all the soft tissue swelling, you can see the fracture, the fragments, the displacement of the fragments, etc. Joint diffusion. And on the AP view, you can see, let me zoom in really nicely here, soft tissue swelling and this uh, calcification here. So that's the flex sign there. But back on the topic, CT. Now the key information or the key lesson here is to always also look not just at the bone window, but actually at the uh, very interesting soft tissue window. Just do it! And this is basically key because tendons are very dense and you can easily identify them. So we can see the perineal tendons here nicely from proximal to distal. We got the perineus brevis and the perineus longus tendon here, just scrolling through. And then we are now at the level of the joint we can already see perineus longus here is okay. The perineus brevis tendon is flattened substantially. And now at this level, you can see a little bit of tendon here, a little bit of tendon here. So basically forming um, a longitudinal split. So maybe it's even better visible here. Sometimes you just have to window this a little bit more aggressively. Um, I hope this comes through on your screens. And then back here again, we've got the perineus longus here. We've got one portion of the perineus brevis here, one portion here, and a large gap in between, which is an extensive longitudinal split here. And then if we go further down, they join together again. They form the perineus brevis tendon here, which then inserts nicely at the base of the fifth metatarsal bone. So just a quick Patreon update. I would like to say a very big thank you to my newest patrons that joined me over the last couple of days. And that is Piper, Dana, Praveen, Smart Red, and Anna. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you want to know more about Patreon and why people maybe become patrons and what actual exclusive benefits you get, then check the link in the description down below or somewhere around here on the screen. So. This is a longitudinal split tear basically of the perineus brevis tendon, which is a common injury type of the perineal tendons, uh, especially the perineus brevis tendon. And just give every ankle CT after a trauma, just a quick look here on the soft tissue window, uh, because you might actually see it. And I think the avulsion here is just a secondary uh, additional injury here. Now, if you don't have 
the soft tissue window, uh, if they don't sand it, if they just sand the window with the bone kernel, so what you can do is just level it or window it a little bit more aggressively so that you can actually see the different tendons a little bit, you know, denser or brighter if you will. And it's a little bit harder to say or to see because of the, uh, the noise, but you can still appreciate that we've got some tendon here, some tendon there. Let me just zoom this so you can actually see it. So, so if we come down, now it's maybe even too close. We see the flattening occurring here at this level and then it goes away, Perineus longus here, we've got some tendon there with the brevis tendon there. And then below here they fuse together and that's basically it. So you can nicely see it, that's basically all I got for this video. And just a companion case here, it's a different patient, but just uh, as a quick repetition, we've got the two tendons, Perineus longus, Perineus brevis, it's severely flattened here and one tendon portion here, one there, one there. So this is even like three or four different slips. And then below here at the level of the lateral aspect of the calcaneus, they fused back together to form the proper tendon and go to the fifth metatarsal base. So this is just how it would look on MRI. So if you like the content so far that you see here on YouTube, then you should definitely check out my Patreon page because there are several Patreon exclusive videos too with similar quality and content as you can see here on YouTube. In addition to that, I have a online masterclass on wrist MRI where you can really get a deep dive into wrist MRI imaging with over four hours uh, video material, keynote lectures and case discussions, etc. So go check that one out. And also make sure you check out my book, Speed MSK Radiology, which was at some point a best-selling uh, book on Amazon in the radiology department. I have proof of that, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so it's a quick book, 70 pages only for 19 pounds or 20 something dollars. So it's very cheap and it only has one image. It's basically the only radiology book with just one image. And if you really want to go crazy, I offer one-on-one -on -one teaching although the availability is severely limited and currently there are no spaces left, but you can contact me if that's something you uh, would consider for the future and I can put you on the list and we can have a little discussion whether this is actually something that would benefit you or maybe not so much. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.